All right, I'm going to cook some Spanish rice this evening. Uh, this is my uh, variation on the recipe. I actually don't have one thing out right now, but uh, that's okay. I'll show you that when I cook the beef, probably. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much everything I'll use, minus one ingredient. So obviously, I'm going to cook up some hamburger. Uh, this is a three-pound log here, so I'm going to use maybe half of that or so. Um, two cups of rice. So that'll be four cups of water to cook that. I'm uh, heating the water up now. And I'm gonna put some of this uh, beef bouillon in there, uh, make it you know, beef broth um, to give the rice a little more flavor. And then I'm gonna put uh, that amount of garlic in there. Probably not all of both of those onions, but at least one and a half. Uh, tomato sauce, uh, tomato paste I also didn't get out. Uh, a bit of corn and a bit of olives. That's uh, gonna turn out pretty nice. And I'll sprinkle some of that nice uh, Mexican blend cheese on the top when I'm ready to eat it. Okay, so now I'm going to cook up half of the meat with my onions and uh, garlic here. I ran them through the food processor. I uh, normally don't do that, um, but I was just trying to speed eat this a little bit, so I'm going to try it out. Uh, the garlic definitely has a nice texture. Uh, onions are a little too fine for my liking. I kind of like them a little chunkier, but I think it's still going to taste pretty good. Uh, the rice is is done. You see it's kind of got a little golden color to it because of the beef broth. So uh, it should have some real nice flavor. And um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'm going to go with about half of this. That seems like about the right amount. Maybe a little bit less. And then uh, once I get the beef and the onions and the garlic all cooked up, I'll mix everything together, including uh, all this stuff. Um, this is 29 ounces tomato sauce. So... Should be pretty good. Uh, should be about the right amount. I'm gonna use most of this can of this tomato paste. You might leave it a little bit and stuck to the sides. Might not scrape it down, but uh, and then kind of simmer all that together for a few minutes, maybe ten minutes, and then uh, it should be pretty much ready to go. So I'm get uh, cooking on the hamburger. All right, so I got the beef cooking up. Uh, it's smelling pretty nice. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper in here. I'm a big pepper kind of guy. Good amount in there. After I get the beef browned up, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, the taco seasoning, kind of as if you were going to make some tacos. And again, that kind of just adds a nice little extra bit of flavor to the rice. So get that browned up and we'll go from there. Put a little bit of butter in the rice too. Alright, and there's everything combined into one pot. Let it uh, simmer for a minute. I might add a little water. Maybe, maybe not on the water, but uh, let it simmer for a few minutes. And uh, when everything is cooked, the rice is cooked, the hamburger is cooked, uh, just kind of bringing up the, the temperature of the cold stuff we added, the tomato sauce and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, and that'll be ready to eat in no time. And there's dinner. Looks pretty good to me. And, you know, could do better than Coors, I guess, but that's what was on sale, so I'm cheap. But, uh, yeah, that was my uh, Spanish rice recipe, and uh, I'm going to get ready to enjoy it here. I think it's going to be pretty nice, and uh, maybe you like it, too.